All right, dealing with a lot of rain. Yeah, can't say it wasn't expected. Yes. That's for sure. We've got the rain tonight. We've got more rain for the weekend, but mm -hmm. good news for the weekend is it's not going to be a washout. So in the meantime, the rain will lead to a concern for flooding. That is uh, where we're focused tonight on our first alert. But by tomorrow morning, the worst of the heavy rain will be behind us. And then we've got a beautiful end of the week. 50s in the... Uh, Pardon me, temps in the 50s on Friday, dry, brighter uh, to close out the week. And then we've got again more rain over the weekend, prompting another first alert with that renewed concern for flooding. Right now, temperatures pretty uniform between 45 and 50 across Connecticut. Certainly wet conditions statewide. Our view from Waterbury here, from our ICAM in the Brass City, 46 degrees. And from Southeast Connecticut, the Bascool Bridge there in Mystic, uh, cloudy and wet as well. Visibility down to five miles or less for many communities. We'll have that fog around. And again, the heavy nature of the rain will also reduce visibility from this evening into the early overnight hours. Those darker greens and yellows on first alert live radar indicate where some of that moderate rain currently is ongoing. And there's plenty more rain on the way. You can see all this moisture streaming in from the south. Basically, we've got uh, a series of low pressure systems or uh, areas of low pressure riding along this uh, frontal boundary that's almost stalled out. So that's going to continue the wet weather for this evening into tonight. And then all of this shifts farther offshore, tapering to a cloudy kind of showery day throughout our Thursday. So first alert future cast showing how we see the intensity of the rain ramping up a bit as we head through the next several hours after midnight and as we head especially toward daybreak tomorrow in our Thursday morning commute tapering to scattered areas of light rain. So kind of a showery Thursday on tap for us otherwise cloudy. You know, also note those wind arrows coming in out of the northeast that wind tomorrow could gust 20 to 30 miles an hour and as we head past tomorrow evening's commute we finally start to dry out highs tomorrow still running several degrees above average as we top out in the upper 40s and then low 50s along the 95 corridor. So again, dry, bright weather for Friday, temps in the 50s. And then as we head into the upcoming week and becoming mostly cloudy on Saturday, but dry through the daylight hours. So some good news there. Rain chances increase toward and after sunset on Saturday, really ramping up Saturday night into early Sunday morning as another area of low pressure traverses southern New England. Do note those shades of pink and purple primarily to the north of Connecticut. We're looking at uh, a rain event for us, but the ski country of northern New England could pick up on some snow as we head into and through this upcoming weekend and the conditions start to improve with some chillier air, relatively speaking, moving in behind this frontal system for early next week. So uh, this initial round of rain tonight into tomorrow, an inch or two locally higher amounts focused across southeastern Connecticut. Then with the incoming round of rain Saturday night, early Sunday, and this is cumulative. So two round total here, two to four inches. So this is why there's that uh, additional threat for some flooding. Uh, Saturday night into early Sunday. So 50 to 55 on Friday, mostly sunny, upper 40s, rain at night Saturday, morning rain Sunday, breezy in the afternoon. Again, for the upcoming parades this weekend, a big one for a uh parades this weekend. Saturday, Hartford, Greater Hartford Parade, mid 40s as it steps off in our capital city, 46, mostly cloudy. Uh, the rain tends to wind down, hopefully just in time uh, for the parade to step off at 1:30 in New Haven. Temperatures with some partial clearing closer to 50. Monday, briefly cooler, again, relatively speaking, mid and upper 40s, but windy back into the lower 50s by Tuesday, perhaps mid 50s by Wednesday of next week. And of course, don't forget this weekend, daylight saving time ends so or begins. So before going to bed Saturday night, you want to set your clocks ahead an hour. We lose that hour of sleep. So the weekend only 47 hours in length. But again, not a washout, but more rain Saturday night into Sunday morning. All right. Hoping 